I am beyond excited right now. A buddy of mine, uh, Ham Radio Journey, literal friend, Lars, a, a good friend of mine, somebody I knew before the Ham Radio Crash Course even existed. He, he got into amateur radio recently and also meshtastic really hard. And he started making these prototype uh, meshtastic exterior boxes. And yes, this is a prototype before I get into any of this. And yes, there is a link. It's an email address that you can contact him if you're interested in one of these. He is not taking money for anything like that until he actually can build them. And so he's kind of slow rolling the whole thing. Cause again, it's, he's just, uh, he's just the one guy. Um, oh, there's an antenna here. Jeez. I didn't even, <laughs> I will try it with both antennas and, and let you know which one's the best, but uh, it's a simple, it's a simple thing, and it looks like this may have moved in shipping. Yep, a little bit. Um, I'll contact him on it, but it's a rack wireless board with a battery and a USB-C cable. That's basically it with a solar charger connection. Really, really simple setup, um, but it's a good solar panel, and it's mounted on the side. So some of you are like, well, it needs to point at the sun. Uh, not so much. As long as it points to the south of, well, at least where I'm at, it's going to be fine. Uh, that's a big enough panel and a big enough battery that we'll be able to run that for quite a while. I'll, also, that long cable is going to be shortened in the final production of wherever he's going with this. And I, I don't know exactly what his plans are, but like I said, you can email him to ask any questions. One of the ingenious things that is uh, in this is this USB-C port on the bottom underneath this little weather stripping or weather resistant connector. So you can go straight to the USB-C if you need to charge it before you put it up on the roof. Um, and you could, I guess, just lug a laptop outside. This is my often abused TV antenna mass that I have with a one inch thick stock. I've been meaning to get up here anyway to do a little maintenance. So I'm gonna check all my bolts and cables on that right now before we mount the mesh-tastic with the southern facing exposure. Uh, let me get over here. Oh yeah, it's needed a little bit. Not much. Now remember kids, when you're playing on the roof, don't actually play, be safe. And if something starts to fall, let it fall. <laughs> Don't go chasing after anything on the roof. All right, I've got some fasteners here and some U-bolts. First thing I'm gonna do is put one of these U-bolts down. In fact, I'm gonna put them in my back pocket or a pocket. I need uh, two washers and two nuts for the top one and two washers and two nuts for the bottom. Looks like there's some spring washers as well, which we're gonna use so the washers don't back out. We're coming in this way. This is nice and sturdy. We're gonna hold it like that. Actually, I'm gonna come down here a little bit. What we could use is a bit of blockage behind here to kind of give you a little bit of a, let me test this, hold on. Could use an inch of blockage behind it. So I'm gonna get a piece of scrap wood and we're gonna use that as a blockage or a piece of plastic would work really well, like a buffer piece. All right, I got a couple of shims that I'm gonna slide in after we, uh, we get this thing mounted. So the first step is just gonna be getting a screw washer and the compression washer on just to get it kind of held up there. And we'll get it into place where we want it after we, uh, we get, it, get the uh, bolts in place. Okay, hard part's over. I want it about right there, so. I'm using that tape to help me, help me tape. The problem you have is that obviously this is a pretty tall mass and to get it all the way at the top, it would get in the way of my disc gun, which is not ideal. So it's here up against this aluminum uh, mass, which I, I don't love. So an offset or a standoff would be, would be nice if we could maybe have another piece of pole about a foot off and we put that on there. And that's something I'll consider in the future. Sorry for the direct sunlight, but uh, I'm literally out in the sun here, so. Let's take a look. I'm gonna record my, my screen while we look for the mesh-tastics in the area. Let's see if we've uh, improved our, our mesh-tastic ability. <laughs> yeah, we have, <laughs> considerably. Oh yeah, it's going nuts. I've got direct signal to so many different stations and it's all straight shot. Look at this, all those lines imply that I'm hearing them straight. Wow, the map is already populating. Let's, uh, let's say hi to everybody. 
Hi all, new roof top. New roof top node. How am I? How am I? Now we should not have to wait to be acknowledged. At least, that's my hunch. But yet, we are having to wait to be acknowledged. Now, this might be where I need to swap that antenna out. I'm gonna do that right now. Because I don't think this is right. Let's do that. When all else fails, we're gonna do a full factory reset. How's that sound? Sounds good. All right, we did a factory reset, and now we've got an empty map. Looks like empty channels. So I'm gonna say, hi all, new roof top node. How am I making it? Okay, there we go. Now we got acknowledged. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way I'm on the roof, man. <laughs> so we got to wait for this map to populate. But uh, I think we're going to do pretty good. I might just hang out here for a little while, wait for some of the nodes to trickle in. We got the mast. The box is right up against the mast. Antenna is right up against the mast as well. Antenna mast is made of metal. Antenna, obviously, likely coupling with it because I'm receiving tons of signals. I'm not getting out very well. Also, I think I'm going to align it more towards the west, and maybe capture some sunset access because we have a sideways panel. Thanks uh, for the reminder. Got to make sure you have sun protection on when you're out here. Thanks to the, the joyous nature of 24-hour shipping in Amazon, I, get, I got some standoffs. These are, I don't know, five or six inch standoffs. So what that's gonna let us do is go up against the mast like that, giving some space, some isolation from that metal mast before we were right up against it. And this panel should be able to charge this unit all the way up in one day. Uh, and it, it wasn't doing that. And I had it facing due south, which I thought that was the way. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna try it out right now. Let's get it up on there. Nice. It's like it's not charging or something. Did I not connect the panel? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Works better when the panel's connected. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who would have told me that, but somebody should have told me. <laughs> now, there's your problem, right there. This little cable. This little guy's got to go like this. Oh, that's much better. You like that more, don't you? Yes, you do. And now you've got panel reflection. Me in the panel, you seeing me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's, uh, Let's get this thing spun around here and uh, get her buttoned up. <laughs> Are you over here? Hey, hi, hey, hey, right here, come on. Get in there. Not your ball insanity. Come on, this way. I'll step on the end caps, you dingus. <laughs> oh, Lars is uh, all freaked out. He's like, it's not working. And I'm like, I don't know, man, something's going on. Yeah, something was going on. I'm an idiot. Let's uh, let's check it. <sighs> it just jumped up to 79% from 74. <laughs> That's funny. Um, also, I'm... I'm trying to do a trace route while I'm up here. So I haven't done this before. Um, I'm gonna go to the node list. So here's all our nodes. 
And I'm just gonna pick, I don't know, let's go with this guy who's seven hops away. I'm gonna see if I can do a trace route. Okay, and now we should see another option for trace route log. And it says no response. So we can wait a little bit and hopefully we get a response back. Let's try to see if we can do a, a, a ping. Let's go to who base, who that is. No response yet. Oh, there we go. Coyote Hills. Coyote Hills is that way. I am, uh, I, think we, I think we got it. I think the standoff was the key. All right, that'll do it. We have the mesh node on the roof. It is working perfectly. Yes, I, I had the solar disconnected. Yes, I think the standoffs improved things immensely. And I've been able to communicate with a lot of people in and around uh, all the way out to Redondo Beach from my place down to Santa Ana, which is a pretty good jump. And so I'm I'm pretty impressed so far with the little node that Lars has, has made here. Now, note that I am at about 30 feet above the ground and uh, at the top of that little section that it's on. It does have a pretty good view over a lot of the roofs in the area, which I think helps. I am in a suburb. So obviously going up to the mountains is fine, but going down towards when you get to the coast, it's a little bit more difficult because it starts to drop off with the houses. So your mileage may vary. There is a link in the video description to contact Lars if you are so inclined to ask about his nodes. I don't know how Lars is going to set up this whole thing, but uh, if you want to contact him, the email is the way to do it, and it is in the video description. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching, and I'll talk to you later. 73.